All right. So this goes out to Paul, so I need to let him know. This is interesting. So we make Paul aware of this. This is really just for him, so. This would be funny. So with um, <clears throat> the Genesis Classics on Steam, they allowed for workshop content to be uh, workable with the game. So what that means is that people can make mods for the existing Genesis games and let the games play. So, like, there's customizations that people can do. It's pretty much, you know, whatever, whatever the heart desires, right? So, in this case, this is a, a special mod that I thought Paul would really get a kick out of. So, the question is, will he see it? Natalie, what's up? So I have a special version of Streets of H2 for Paul. I'm just looking to see if he will actually hop on and see it, because the whole point is I'm doing it for him. Because I thought he'd, he'd probably trip balls if he saw it. Hey, what up, Rocco? What's going on, my man? How about those burritos? What kind of burritos did you have? So this is... As I was explaining before, with this particular Steam version of uh, <clears throat> the Genesis Classics, it has workshop support. So Steam Workshop is kind of like a modder's haven. So people who like to make mods for games, they're available on the workshop. So in the case of this collection, Sega actually allowed for people to tinker with the ROMs and do hacks. Pretty much ROM hacks, but legally available with within the workshop. So this is a particular mod for Streets of Rage 2 that Paul would probably crap his pants at. Still can't sleep. Jose Ole Bean and Cheese. I haven't heard of that, uh, Justin. You know what? I'm, I'm so used to calling you Rocco. Is it, is it fine if I just call you Rocco? It just sounds cool. <laughs> but I'm sorry that you can't sleep, man. Hey, Max. What's that, Max? I just sent him a message, Natalie, so I'm hoping that he gets the hints. So, Rocco, the, comp, the, the burritos that I like is Tina's. They sell them like at Stop and Shop and uh, ShopRite. Tina's Red Hot Beef. They go for like 60 cents a piece, but they're so good. They have a nice little spice to them, actual spices. A lot of these frozen burritos say they're spicy, but they're not. I'm going to give it another minute to see if Paul's will cop on. If not, I will just continue on. Okay. 
creíste que te habías liberado de mí. No, Max. Lo que quieras hacer está bien. Si quieres divertirse en ver mis, mis streams, todo bien, amigo, todo bien. Espero que todo está bien ahí con, contigo. Every S you say is like a few decibels higher. Very loud. I'm sorry, Natalie, it's just a sensitive mic. What can I say? Anyways, let me continue on with this and see. Uh, let's get this going. Streets of Rage 2 is arguably the greatest beat em up of all time in my very biased opinion. So what is different about this version? I like to challenge myself. So I like to, most people will probably start at five, <clears throat> five lives. Others who are a little more weary probably go at nine. I like to start off at one to work my way up. But this is a special version of the game, so I'm not sure how its difficulty will be affected. A lot of the strategies I use won't, won't apply here. But let's see what's so different about this mod. If you saw the description of the stream, you'll you probably have an idea. Notice that everyone's wearing pink. Max has pink gloves, sneakers. Max has pink boots. Skate has pink gloves, pink hat, pink skates. Now notice Max, Axel, Skate. Now Blaze. Blaze says light. And why does she say light? O sea, me hace extraño. Te digo, te, te voy a estar honesto, Max. Como, como te, me estoy forzando a hablar español contigo. Estoy entrenando, ¿eh? porque honestamente mi español no es tan bueno. Pero cuando estás aquí en el stream, tengo la oportunidad para tratar de hablar, conversarte en español. Y eso realmente me ayuda, porque yo necesito ese práctico. ¿eh? So, te lo agradezco, Max. Look at this. All right, so Blaze has been switched over to Lightning from Final Fantasy 13, Paul's favorite Final Fantasy game. Look at that. Look at how much taller her sprite is compared to everyone else. Max is supposed to be the big one, but she is so much taller. <laughs> like whoever paid this, this is like just fuck it. Like, who needs the, the sprite scaling, right? So let me make one mass. Let's grasp at the uh, at getting Paul to watch this. I'm going to send Frank a text. And see if Choose Blaze. Well, I have to because it's lightning. That's the whole point. In Twitch, no estás. Uh, esta ahorita estoy usando un programa que se llama Restream.io. Y con eso, Max, uh, puedo estar en vivo en YouTube, Twitch y Facebook uh, al mismo tiempo. So, ahorita estoy uh, en vivo en los tres al mismo tiempo ahorita. Alright, so let's try lightning see what's going on with her. All right, she is gigantic. 
Look at how much taller she is. Okay. She teleported. Is that... I think that's a gun that she shoots. Oh, she has her sword. Oh wow, she's totally broken. She can dash. What's her blitz? All right, so that. What about letting go? Oh, that. Okay. Instead of vaulting over, she teleports. Oh, wow. So whoever made the sprite, actually, her fluidity... It's really good. Look at her walking animation. It's very fluid. So, I mean, kudos to whoever made that. Alright, so that is some kind of lightning fist. Sword. Gun. She really breaks the game. That's, that's like broken. Okay, so instead of a knife, she has a gun. Interesting. Ooh, that was like a shotgun, right? Oh, a shotgun with the pipe. Okay. I mean, whoever made this went all went to town. Well, that is quite crazy. Tienes a tus padres con vos. No, estoy um, viviendo con uno de mis amigos, Max. Usted? Look at how she's walking, it's very fluid. So you just keep shooting all day and like you're unstoppable. Look at the jiggling boobies when she's when she's jumping. This is so broken. So this, I'm noticing there's a counter. At the very top of my score. I think that's a counter on how many enemies I've killed. I believe so. Pretty sure that's what that is. Wow, she's just totally broken. <laughs> it's an interesting new take on the game for sure. I wonder who they base this sprite off of. I mean, it's not Blaze. 
must be some existing game. Just heard a little notification. I heard a little notification. I'm not sure what that is. All right, Natalie. Thank you for stopping by. Call me Papi Vivo. Oh, hi, right, Max. Is that on Twitch? Guess the number in Twitch. Uh, Max me Vivo. All right. Mi mamá murió. Ay, lo, lo siento, Max. Maximi Vito. Twitch. Oh, gracias. Gracias, Max. Qué bueno. Mira, no hay ningún problema si estás viviendo con tus padres, porque hay veces cuando tus padres necesitan ayuda y si quieres estar ahí por ellos, todo bien. Todo bien. All right. So, pero gracias por eso, Max. Thank you. So yeah, this chick is. I, I'm curious to see how she can abuse the bosses. She walks. I mean, that's a good job. Come on. Yeah, he doesn't even know what to do. Ooh. All right. Attacks are so broken. Wow. I mean, he's an easy boss, but I'd be curious to see what it's going to be like with with Abadidi. That's so so wow. So instead of Blaze's spin kick, she does this little punch. Wonder if that's what she's known for in the game. And with melee weapons, her instead of a stab, it's a gun, which does more damage. She teleports instead of vaulting. Shotgun. Gonna try and sucker punch me, it ain't happening. Six enemies so far. Damn it. Just so broken, oh man. 
So her size is aggroing enemies before you even get to uh, certain areas. That's interesting. Interesting. So they've recolored part of the stages too. There's a predominantly pink color aesthetic here. Attacks would be really good for uh, mania difficulty. Without a doubt. six enemies yeah so i guess so this is a mod for streets of rage 2 that instead of blaze you play as lightning from final fantasy so i picked this because obviously paul would have you know lost his shit if you saw this but um so in addition to the lightning mod ooh, that kind of fucks with the colors um there's a counter at the very top of my score which is telling me how many enemies I've killed. So, so far I've killed 124 enemies. Pretty nuts. But yeah, she's totally broken. Like, all of her attacks are, like, multi-hits. When you pick up a melee weapon, it turns her attack into a gun. It just breaks the game. I mean, it's funny. Don't be wrong. And her sprite is just way too big, too, so it's kind of comical. So the cool thing about... Oh, okay. These guys just spawned. Um, so I'm noticing with her, she's kind of glitching the game out in some ways because enemies are kind of spawning in areas where they're not normally doing so she's also aggroing bosses far before they should be aggroed but that's fine because she's so broken that it doesn't matter what difficulty the game is So it's pretty funny, actually. Look at, look at how her boobies jiggle when she's shooting with her gun. So this guy went to town with the animations, which is pretty funny. Last I checked, Lightning was a pretty flat-chested character in games, so that's quite funny to have. So yeah, the animations are actually really fluid. 
They're much more fluid than the actual normal character ones. So it's pretty nuts. I mean, this whoever modded this put some work. Definitely put some work into it. What's up with you, Rex? Uh, you were streaming earlier tonight, weren't you? That's just like, that just breaks the game. Yo, what up, Frank? Paul's gonna flip his shit with this. Kicking ass is lightning. She totally breaks the game. It's hilarious. Look at how huge she is. Like, she's gigantic. Yo, what up, Paul? What up? No way. Shut up. Shut up. Get out. So, with the PC version of Streets of Rage, I'm able to put mods in. And there was a mod that replaces Blaze with Lightning. Look at that. Look at how gigantic she is. Tell me how accurate she is. Look, she has her sword, right? Two sword attacks. She has her guns that she's shooting instead of a dropkick. Look at how huge your titties are, though. Does lightning teleport? Because she has a teleporting attack. Like, right here. It just totally breaks the game. Ooh. Alright, Eno. You know. Shoot your ass. So instead of using melee weapons, she shoots. That's her handgun. And then instead of throwing it, shotgun. Look at that, Paul. Look at the things I do for you. I did this mod just for you. You silly whack. Get out. She totally breaks the game. It's so it's so funny. Ooh, so I picked up the katana. That's a shotgun. Look at that. Broken, broken. <laughs> She can dash, too, which is crazy. So according to this, I've killed 177 enemies.
Alright. Multi hits. No? Alright. There we are. See what I can get with this asshole. Ooh, all right. the game so bad. Y con una amiga te despedirme en una no hay problema Max. No tienes que decir nada, lo tienes que hacer lo que tienes que hacer mi amigo. So what do you think Paul? This is nuts. Playing this lightning. Dope sick. <laughs> I figured you would like. So there's a ton of mods. There's like, uh, I get to play as the Mortal Kombat characters, uh, Ninja Turtles, a whole bunch of stuff. Let me see if I missed anything on what you said, Paul. What are you guys playing, by the way? Let's get this on Genesis. Let's ROM hack it. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not coming out, Paul. I'll give you. I'll give you the ROM. I mean, well, honestly, I don't even know where the ROM hack goes because it's uh goes in a specific folder. But I'm pretty sure with the EverDrive, you can probably you can probably do that in the EverDrive. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, look it up on the EverDrive. I'm sure there's a way to put it on. Get my shotgun back. So they did add, ooh, they did add more enemies here than normal. And the enemies do come out a little faster, I'm noticing that. She can run, which is something you can't do in Streets of Rage 2. Only Skate can do that. Alright, Ninja. Get him. Shit. Alright. Fucker. Okay. Y Max, uh, nunca has jugado este juego.
This is so funny. Like it, it's breaking the game in so many ways, but it's making it fun. So I'm actually down to play more ROM hacks too. Look at how this person added a, a vaulting animation. You know, like she flips back up. That's that's a brand new animation. That's interesting. I mean, he custom drew these sprites, so that's really impressive work. Can't touch me. This uh, got this fucking shotgun. Look at that move. Visibility frame shouldn't have hurt. That's garbage. Let's see, pero en otra versión. Oh, um, ¿cómo lo has jugado? Jugado en el versión regular. Lo has jugado en el en el Mega Drive, um, Game Gear, el uh, Master System. Oh, en, ¿En qué sistema lo has jugado? ¿Y ¿Cuál es tu carácter más favorito? Eh, Max, el luchador, el hombre rubio, uh, Axel, la, la chica Blaze o el, el, el moreno, Skate. Or, también tiene el nombre Sammy. All right, so I, I died once. Considering how crazy this is, I think that's pretty good, because I don't have a full grasp on how she plays. This is nuts. She really breaks the game. No me acuerdo bien el nombre del juego. Ah, okay. Ooh. Time to fight Ultimate Warrior now.
Got him. Like a bitch. Sega Genesis, okay. Y has jugado los otros, porque este es el segundo. Has jugado el primero o el tercero. Los tres son increíbles, pero... Boxers. Let's get this asshole. Goodbye. This is so liberating. Oh, man. Hey. Oh, Nair, what's up, man? And why are seven winning? Yes, this is a mod. So this is actually, I am playing this on the Steam. This is the Sega Genesis, was it, Ultimate Collection on Steam. So the thing about the Steam version is it has workshop functionality. So people on the workshop made mods for the ROMs. So you can actually, within the game itself, uh, load up these mods and this is a mod that replaces blaze with lightning from final fantasy so yeah it is a uh, it's definitely unique i mean obviously her sprite is huge but it changes a lot of the properties of the game you know like her melee becomes a gun in this case it's a shotgun Looking for invincibility there. Oh. 
There you go. <laughs> Walking with those grenades, buddy. Come on. Ooh, all right. You want to play dirty? So obviously it's making the sound of the melee weapon, but it's obviously been changed. Sounds fun. Have you tried the EpiDD Ultimate Warrior mod? I have not, but um, there's one that I saw. It's called the Syndicate Wars. So it lets you play as all the bosses. EpiDD, Souther, Jet, uh, Electra, uh, Jack, uh, the Kickboxers, obviously Mr. X. So I'll probably try that next. Um, I'll have to see if I have it. But this is interesting. I mean, it's <laughs> it's broken as all hell, but it's making the game very fun. Just sending a text. One sec. But I'll look into that. I, I'm pretty sure it's called Syndicate Wars, and it lets you play as all the bosses. Time to mess up our bear. Oh, yes. <laughs> what? Shouldn't even be able to do that as Blaze. Shouldn't be able to vault over him. That's nuts. I mean, our bear looked like a bitch. That is so. Uh, this is fun. I'll link you a video of the mod on IG. All right, cool. You play the game as Abby DD. Um, I'm not sure if, if the Twitch will let you. Honestly, I don't use my Twitch. Try putting in the hyperlink in there. But, um, Send it to me on Instagram, too, because I, I, I mean, I'll definitely see it there. Oh, my God. Get out of here. 
Oh, wow. Really? She's not great with crowds, and she does, because she's so huge, her stun isn't that great. Hell no. Guess it works. She's huge. You almost feel sorry for the enemies. Yeah. But it messes up the hitboxes, though, because enemies can hurt you at times when they're not supposed to. But, I mean, whatever. She's... She's broken in all the great, like, the best of ways. And sometimes the AI gets confused as to where she is, which is cool. I mean, look at how much her damn her combo state is. So much damage. She's she's so broken. It's the best. And she's just amazing for points. Like her moves just rack up so many points. Because they're, they're all multi-hit. Probably gonna aggro Souther before he's supposed to get me. Love this game's soundtrack, it's so 90s. Yeah, it's Yuzo Kochiro did an amazing, amazing job. 90s house, yeah, so it's a mix of like house, jungle, electro, synth, industrial. Um, it's just really, really awesome overall. So, Baldo is Frank. Yo, Frank. 
I guess you are kind of relegated to computer status right now, huh? All right, let's fuck up Salder. Ooh, all right. I'm trying to do it so he doesn't Some of the best music in gaming, like, of all time, without a doubt. Like, it's not even a contest. Alright. That shouldn't have worked. these combos she can do is insane. <laughs> she can break the game. It's pretty nuts. Except with the stun, she does get stunned quite easily. So you do have to kind of maneuver around that. Are. It's just comical. Was playing Street Fighter from the Street Fighter 30th anniversary. What up, Foxhound? So it's actually not Paul right now. It's actually Frank. Frank is uh, at Paul's house right now, and he's using his computer. So pretty sure it's Frank. But what's up, Foxhound? Ooh. This guy's annoying. There we 
we are. Now time for the elevator. Oh boy. Just catch him in a loop. You want to play that way. <laughs> there you go, you son of a bitch. First Street Fighter was held to be. Yes, it was. Something about the elevator stage in Street Rage 1 that was more appealing. Well, you could throw people off. That was definitely a better part. Is this a modded game? I don't remember being able to play as a pink hair female in Street Rage 2. Yes, Fox, now this is, if you look at the description of the video, it should say lightning mod. So this is lightning from Final Fantasy 13 has taken the place of Blaze. Hit them all. Just single file, please. Ooh, he broke through. All right. Get him. She's susceptible to getting hit, which is annoying. So at least have guns for the, the robots. Music, or maybe the fact that you can throw people out. Yeah. No, I mean, you throw people out is definitely more satisfying. But this is such a great stage, though. The music, too. Expander is the name of this track, and it's... You can play this at a rave, and you'll be right at home. Alright, get out of here, particle. Molecules. Get out of here. Nope. 
still got time for you. Nope. Ooh, you son of a bitch. Alright. Right when he killed me too. Uh, come on. All right, final stage. Here we go. So so far I've killed 464 enemies. programming right there. Streaming Castlevania 3, I would not be able to keep my sanity 
but they don't have a stat in the anniversary collection. Oh, you know, save states. Okay. Ultimate Warrior. That is Ultimate Warrior, yeah. For sure. Uh, which platform do you have the Castlevania collection on, Faxon? Alright, time to fuck up Shiva here. Come on, Sheila. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, Sheila, come on. Ooh, all right. Gotcha. There it is. That's Research to Lightning. How about that? There it is. So I started off with one life, and I got myself up to nine. And I ended up at six, so I died four times. Considering she's a totally broken character, my just relapse, not too bad, I'd say. Dude, you really like this game. You know, Bama? Oh, absolutely, I do. If there was one game I could play for the rest of my life, it would be this. It was just something that I played growing up uh, with my family, well, my cousins, and it's just um, stayed with me forever, man. Tell me how I can be Chase Rich 2, but still can't finish the first one. Well, well, hasta mañana. Okay, Max. Con cuidado, Max. Espero que tenés un buen fin de semana. You can't beat the first one? Really? I could beat that. I could beat all three of them. Um, it's just three. Well, two, the first game, it depends on who you pick. Who do you play as? I would suggest, if you really want a, an easier time with the game, uh, Blaze. The reason I say Blaze is because her, if you hold B and C, she does like a roundhouse kick. And that's great against certain bosses, like for example, the uh, the twins on the boat, they like to flip around a lot. That roundhouse always catches them by surprise. They can usually be very frustrating, but with that it's pretty pretty easy. Play with Axel, okay. I always run out of lives at the last boss. Um, well, I have that on here. Um, maybe I'll do that. You know what? Let me let me just show you. Let me just. Uh, I can probably do a run through of like the first stage just to show you how I play, and maybe that can help. But uh, so that's it for lightning.
So let's go straight to rage one, right? And then see extras. Get to the final boss without using a continue. Finish stage one with a full bar of health. Okay. Well, let me just show you real quick how I do Streets of Rage 1. Take those twins. Oh. Some would argue that the music here is even better than the second game. It's so hard to say. Um, they're both honestly perfection. But uh, let me show you how I play. Special attack jump, yep. So let me show you what I do. So either I would suggest using Blaze or Adam. Axel is, for all that he's broken in number two, in number one, he's pretty ho-hum. Uh, Adam is definitely a quicker guy. He's got great power. Um, Blaze is super fast. Her, she's got great combo. She has great stun ability, which is really helpful. <laughs> so let me show you this real quick. How I play with Blaze. So what you want to do with Blaze, you want to help B and C. Notice this little roundhouse kick? This is great to catch enemies by surprise. Like So for example, boom, something like that. And you want to try to stun enemies one, two, one, two, you know, like stun them and then get the hit, get the grab. Vault over, suplex. Now, for whatever reason, I didn't throw recover, but if you hold up and see, you should be fine. There we are. I have to try to acclimate myself to the, the speed of Streets of Rage 1. So with every hit, you want to inch a little closer to them. Let me show off that roundhouse again. Whoops, I paid for it. So unfortunately with the drop kicks you can't like stun them like you can in two and then go for a combo. And you can't throw items either. Which is a bit annoying. Especially when you're used to it in number two. It can hit multiple guys. I don't think I will stream Simmons Quest from the Custom University Collection. Japanese version of Street Rage 3 is easier than the American one. Yes, it is. Bare Knuckle 3 is a much better game. Uh, whatever reason, is Street Rage 3, when they decided to bring it here to America, they jacked up the difficulty, they censored the game, they changed the color palette to everyone. It's just a, a mess. All right.
right, so with the women, the key to the women is when they kneel down, if you're staring at them, they won't get up. You have to face away, and then they'll get up quicker. Use that to your advantage. So here's the boss, man. There he goes. Oh no, Simon's Quest isn't for everyone, Fox Islander. It's a very divisive game, for sure. It's not everyone's cup of tea. some pepper. I held up and see what was that. Timing on that is stricter in this game, I have to remember that. Say, God damn it. That was my version. Pepper, is that what it was? I always thought it was a stun grenade. Nope. It was. <laughs> it's a. I always thought it was a can of pepper spray. That's why when you see them, they're like sneezing. That's what I always thought it was just pepper. One, two, three, get in. Rage 2 specials. It's messing me up. They're so funny.
I hate this fucker. There we are. Alright, time for Freddy Krueger. So the thing with Freddy Krueger, you want to stay up top. Uh, as long as you're in a higher plane than he is, you can grab him. So that makes it easier. See? You're in a higher plane, so you can grab him. You just gotta try to not get in that. Just, you know, take your time, just make sure he does not. Don't drop kick him, because he'll always do that teleport dodge. As long as you're on a higher plane than him, you can grab him. No problem. I didn't think I'd be playing her, oh, man. I want to play this to the end, but it's it's getting late. I really shouldn't. It's just so addicting, though. Juicer H2. God damn it. That's my fault. I mean, I don't need it anyway, so whatever. It's just so weird in this game. Just with how fast it can suddenly move. It is quite striking. Hey, what up, Ryan? Do another time if it's getting late. I might do a run too. Just trying to figure out how to stream original Genesis hardware. Uh, well, you do need a, you do need a capture card uh, with the Genesis. You would need there's like one they sell on Amazon that uh, takes the uh, the yellow red uh, video video audio plugs, and then from that you would need there's one on Amazon that's it's AV to HDMI. So from that, you could uh, connect that to a capture card, and then the capture card goes to your computer. So that's an option. It's a mess of wires, but it can be done.
Alright, so Ultimate Warrior, just drop kick. That's all there is to it. Just gotta time it right. Just hope this son of a bitch doesn't get in the way. <laughs> Ideally, it'd be easier if you just go in the corner and spam the drop kick, but the enemies got in the way. Is this on an emulator or real hardware? This is on Steam, PC. Oh crap, almost forgot. Two thirty, oh man. I might have to save this for another day. Problem with Streets of Rage once you get started. Very hard to stop. Nice try. I was thinking of using this channel as a toy. Okay, so that's what, uh, what you mentioned last night here. Yeah. Alright, after this level, I will stop. I will present to myself. Goodbye. Let's not grab the apple just yet. Bullshit, god damn it.
Why is it not? You have to time it like right before you land. It's very strange. Very strange the timing on that. All right, two of these fat bastards, which are annoying. I just gotta get them in a the corner. Still gets me, goddammit. trying to pick him up. There we are. I always wanted to play this game. What's a lightning mod? Uh, you missed it, Ryan. So it was a Streets of Rage 2 mod where Blaze was replaced with lightning from Final Fantasy 13. But, uh, I've since switched to uh, Streets of Rage 1. But, uh, it is getting late, so let me get rid of that. And we'll call it a night. I should get some sleep. It's a good game, but they can be very long in trying to get back into RPG games. Okay. But, yeah, um... I did this uh, this mod for Paul. Well, I didn't do a mod, but I got a mod which replaces Blaze with Lightning. And he freaked out earlier, so that was the name that I gave the stream. I'm not sure if I answered I think I answered it before, Ryan. Uh, this is played on computer. This is this is Steam. Anyways, I'm going to cut out. Thank you for those of you who watched. Thank you, uh, Max, earlier for, for subscribing and liking the stream. That's very kind of you. Yeah, I think uh, with this, I'll play a couple more Genesis games in the future, as I have quite a few. You know, Altered Beast, Comic Zone, Crackdown, Echo's Dolphin, King Ground, Golden Axe 1, 2, 3, Ghost Star Heroes, uh, Shadow Dancer, or Shinobi 3, I'm sorry, Sonic 1, 2, 3, Sonic 3 Blast, Spinball, Streets Rage 1, 2, 3, Revenge Shinobi, and Vector Man, which I also have a couple other games. But that's for another day. Right. So Mortal Kombat mount for Street Fighter, Maximum Carnage. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, Taz Escape from Mars, WrestleMania the Arcade game. Mortal Kombat 1, MK2. Just before I leave, let me just humor myself and see if that works. It'd be very cool if it does. It does. Oh man. Let me do the blood code. Let me see. A, B, A, C, A, B, B. There it is. Works like a charm. Look at that.
I just wanted to see if this worked. <laughs> oh man, look at this. Holy smokes. That is, that is funny. Just one round, just one round. All right. Oh man, what's the buttons like with a three button? One. <laughs> oh man, yeah, it's, it's a three button controller, so it gets all screwy. That support. There we are. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Fatality, guys. Just we're gonna leave it on that mark. That is uh, interesting. Maybe I'll play that another day. But uh, thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Have a good morning, afternoon. Take care. And I will catch you guys later. Peace.